Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kathy is still on for a few minutes, but I wanted to check my internet connection. Thanks for the thumbs up. And <clears throat> I appreciate it. I really, really appreciate it. And the dog made it up here, you guys. <laughs> The little dog, even though blocked up the stairs, she made it up here anyway. So Kathy has like five more minutes and hey, Malia, you made it. Thanks, girl. I know I'm a little bit early, but with my internet issues, I just didn't want to take the chance. Remember last year, it was like, hey, Kellyanne, how are you? Remember last year, I was, I got the times mixed up because I was still in Hawaii. And it was just, it was disastrous. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Hey, Tammy. So everybody get their beverage of choice. Hi, Liz. Girl, happy new year. I've been missing you guys. I'm going to grab the dog and put her in my room because otherwise she's going to try and jump on my lap for the next hour. Up, where are you? You made it up the stairs. You're so amazing. You're an amazing pup. You made it up. All right, let you go lay on the bed, okay? I'll be done in a So I am grateful to Miss Lori Paint Girly for organizing this year's hop and for make sure you're on live chat. That's a good point. You're finishing dinner. Good for you. Hey, Kim, how are you? I know we still have, she still has like five more minutes. Hey, Vicki, how are you, my friend? And I got your Christmas card. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, you know, Mary from the Mary Atia usually, or in the past, I, I don't, you know, this stream's been going on. This New Year's Eve stream's been going on for a lot longer than I've participated. And uh, hi, Martha. So, um, I don't know. I've been doing it for a few years. And last year I was in Hawaii and I got my time. Hi, Joni. I got my times all ridiculously mixed up last year because I was in Hawaii and it was, I don't know, like it's either Eastern time or mountain, whatever, you know, and Hawaii doesn't do daylight savings time. So I got it all crazy mixed up. So tonight I'm going to make, I'm going to attempt you guys you know me, I'm like fly by the seat of my pants kind of person. And I worked all day today. And thanks to Miss Lori. Hey, Happy Ray. Hi, Amira. How are you? Happy New Year's. Um, Miss Happy Ray, um, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good, good time. So, you know, I'm like the fly by the seat of your pants person. I worked all day. And thanks to Miss Lori Paint Girly, she changed my time for me because it would have been, I wouldn't have even gotten home from work in time to even participate. So I'm, I'm grateful. It's making me sit down and craft. So for those of you, you did a stream with on in 2012, the only time. Yeah, it's fun. And you have a huge craft aftermath in your studio. What did you make, Liz? What did you make? So you guys know Janet Young always does a scavenger hunt for New Year's Eve. And she'll be on later on tonight. Happy countdown, Bootsy. Uh, well, I, I had, did you guys end up having a one? I, I chatted with you on Christmas Day and I had fully intended on coming back, you guys, after my dinner with friends. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Tina. Um. But you guys know I've been doing this carnivore diet and I went to my girlfriend's house for, for Christmas dinner 
I did my stream at then work. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know. It's so ridiculous. So I went for, to my girlfriend's house for Christmas dinner and her mother made chocolate souffle. And I was like, I can't really eat it. And I had it, you guys, I got home in enough time to like go into a coma because I hadn't had any real sugar in a really long time. So it was not the best, uh, <laughs> it was not the best thing for me. So anyway, I did not, so I did not come back on Christmas and then I've been working ever since. So, so back to my, con my stream of consciousness. So, you know, our friend Janet Young does her scavenger hunt every year and she gives a prize if you finish all of the prompts by April 1st, I think. And so I thought maybe I'd make a book for my scavenger hunt. I've done it a few years, but I've never actually finished by her deadline. So, hey, Barbara, how are you? Hi, Anne. Anyway, so I'm going to make, so I collect, you guys, I work at a, I'm an operations manager of a, of a store here and we get tons of packages. So I'm thinking I'm going to either make my, and I save all of the junk. I don't think anybody else. Hi, Janet. How are you? Hi, Miss Lulu. Thanks for the thumbs up, everybody. I really appreciate it. So I don't think um, anybody at my job besides me collects trash like I do. So my question, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to make it in this envelope, and this is just a Amazon envelope. I'm going to make it in this envelope, or if I'm going to make it in the smaller one, which all came from my job. Maybe I'll make it in the smaller one, although the bigger one is really enticing. Maybe I'll cut the bigger one up to be in part of the, the piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it. I also have a book. I also have a Reader's Digest that I've messed with, and I've got I've collected all kinds of junk to make my, to make the pages of my, of my scavenger hunt book. Hi, Miss Janet Nash. Oh, thank you guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. You guys, I really appreciate it. I appreciate it more than, you know, so I think I'm going to cover this envelope first and all right, let's see. I, got, I went through my stash and I got some napkins. So I have the mermaid, I have the stars in two colors. I have polka dots. What I'm kind of tending toward, and you guys tell me your 411, is this. Isn't that crazy? Hi, Barb Clark. Yeah, APG Jamie was awesome. They're very fancy, right? Hi, Jean. Hi, Lori. Hey, Miss Janet. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this psychedelic sort of Woodstock looking one, I think. And then I'm going to put some pages in it. So if you guys want to make along. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I like to craft with recycling or craft with trash or craft with things that you can, that you can easily find in your own home. If, if that's possible, I think that might be my, I think I might be doing it. That might be my one side. And I don't know what I'll do on the inside or maybe, I don't know. I'll do one side first and then we'll decide what I'm going to do. So tell me how everybody is. I have been, you guys, I love my job, but I have to tell you it is, oh, wow. This only has one little panel. So I'm going to have to do multiples of it. I figured it would be at least half, but no, the psychedelic is only one. Hmm. Well, that's not good. So tell me how you guys are. I ha I didn't get to see everything. I saw Kathy's. I said APG Jamie's. I was at work today. Um, I saw Lori Paint Girly. Part of the day. Part of it. Not the whole thing. You guys, I had it on in the background, but my job just kind of took me away. I see the plane. <laughs> the plans changing. Right, Barb? It's ridiculous. Well, it may change because... That doesn't, that's like, that doesn't give you a lot. I might, maybe I'll do the polka dots or maybe I'll do the stars. Let's see. I like the polka dots, but I like these polka dots, but I like these stars. Let's open up the stars and see how many panels are in the stars. Hey, Brenda, how are you? I work for, you're not good. You want another piece of cake? What? It's so aggravating. Those cheater napkins. No, you're right. 
Well, you know, I got all these napkins because my daughter had her 16th birthday and I couldn't. And so we had like people here for like a week. So I got all these napkins and I, I just use it as an excuse to get more crafting napkins. The chat is moving faster than the cataract implants. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, Janet Burgess. How are you? So you guys, um, I don't know which one of you guys can put Janet Young's um, scavenger hunt list in the chat, but that it, it's a Google doc and she has, I think it's a hundred prompts. Am I right or wrong? You guys, I've done it. I've done it a few times. Never finished it by the April 1st deadline. How many of you guys have been in on it and finished it on the April? Now this is also a cheater one. You guys, these are cheater napkins. They only give you a little piece. The channel, it's it's on your community pad, page and ready to go. Well, I put it in our crafting, my crafting mama's Facebook group. Maybe I'll put this one down first and then enhance it with these. I don't know. Maybe I'll put those on the inside. See, you're right. Plans are always changing. Well, what is up with these cheater napkins? Well, they had good use anyway. They went, they were at the birthday party, so it's good enough. All right. I'm just going to glue some down. Maybe I'm going to put it down with this matte medium because this thick designer tacky glue is really thick. Oh, Janet, you have to do the, the hop. I mean, the hunt, the scavenger hunt. It's fun. Hi, Sherry. Hi, two Sherry's. Sherry, Sherry L and Sherry H. I hope you guys are all doing good. So, yep. So I've done it. Janet, how many years have you been doing it? You've been doing it a while. I've participated many years, but never finished by the April, by the deadline. I have not finished by the deadline. So, and she gives a prize. You get entered in and she gives a prize and it's awesome. So anyway, you guys, I am so ready for 2022 to be over. This year has kicked my butt. And I am not going to lie. It has been, it has been a very tiring year for me. And I'm ready for the next one. I'm ready to move on to 2023. And I do not want to repeat 2022. <laughs> it has kicked my behind. So... Yep. It has not, I will say in all honesty, 2022 was not a kind year for me. It was not a kind year. And I wouldn't normally, I would normally do it a little bit at a time, but since this matte medium is so thin and I'm just going to try and get it all down really quick before I put my napkin down, I may have to go back and put some more in, but I would not, I don't, I do not want to repeat of 20 of this year 2022 definitely a real year to forget so um for me anyway so did you guys have all have a good christmas i hope so mine was uneventful it was because i worked christmas eve and i had to work the day after christmas so i really tried not to do too much of anything um, and I went to a friend's house for dinner because my sweet girl was at her, was at her dad's. And so I, I didn't cook you guys. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I guess it's not awesome. I mean, because I didn't have any leftovers, but it was like one of the first years that I did not cook. Okay. I guess I should have just said it. Cause you can see that <laughs> you can see the, um, So what do you call it? The barcode underneath it, but it's okay. It is okie dokie. It is okay. Guys, it will work out in the end. It always does. And I can always put something over it. I, I can always put something over it. Now I may leave the bottom part open so that if I wanted to stick some stuff in, I could. You guys, the people where I work think I'm crazy because I'm always like, saving trash. They're like, what are you doing? Like, what is that? You know, try to explain to them that it's all a art supply for me. But, you know, I guess unless you really make art from recycled materials, you don't really kind of get the whole grasp of it. 
So it's all good. Oh, thank you, Janet. Thanks for putting in the list. So you guys go on over and, and you know, download the list or print it out for yourself. And then you can start your scavenger hunt tonight in Janet's stream, which is like, like in an hour. It's what, it, when is your stream, Janet? Jan Anne's after me and then Janet's after that. So it is not too far away and you guys can all participate and, you know, get your scavenger hunt on. So now I have to make a decision of whether I'm going to, whether I'm going to um, put a prompt on every page or if I'm going to do like a two page prompt spread, you know, like where it's like, I have to make that decision. So I know how many, Water loss. Oh my gosh, you guys, we had so many people had water loss here. We had the craziest, you guys don't know, I moved to North Carolina and we had the craziest winter storms these past few weeks, which don't normally happen here in this little area that I live in. And I'm telling you, people have lost water and power and all kinds of this, all kinds of craziness. And some people don't even have water back. I had one of my customers come in today and was telling me he's had no water for like five days. I was like, Oh my gosh, that would be, that'd be so rough. But on the bright side, at least it's not these crazy cold temperatures that it was before. Cause it was crazy cold. It was, I don't even know how cold Malia probably can pipe in and tell you she doesn't live that far away from me, but we both experienced like some crazy cold. It was crazy cold. All right, I'm going to put this one over the bottom too, and then so that I can decide what I want to be. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you, girl? You always print out the prompt list, but you've never done it once. Oh, well, this year might be your first year. Make sure you guys are on live chat. You know, it makes a real difference when you're on live chat than if you're on uh, top chat, because then you miss some things. But, um, hey, Miss Laura V, how are you, girl? Long time no see. You've probably been around and I just have not. Same here. Yeah, you had over 500 jobs. Oh, no. Girl, this, I have to tell you, this year, mm -mm, I don't know, you guys. This year has not been friendly to me. And I am, this job, I like it, but I'm we're short-staffed and it's kicked my butt. And... Yeah, it has kicked my behind this year and the weather. Guys, I'm not used to it. You know what? I have to say I was completely and utterly spoiled living in Hawaii weather-wise. Weather-wise, I was completely and utterly spoiled. Maybe I'll put it. I don't know which way, which one's going to be the front, which one's going to be the back, but it doesn't really matter at this point. It will all end up fine in the end. Initially, it may not look good, but you guys know as well as I do that it always comes out good in the end. Have a wonderful time, Dana, whatever you're doing. We love you, girl, and we're glad that you stopped by. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I sincerely appreciate it. And if you're watching on your phone, I know you can't give a thumbs up because... I have not been able to navigate the whole phone YouTube thing very well. I know somebody tried to give me the, the heads of the 411 on it, but I didn't really quite get it. So you guys, yeah. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to start putting together my pages. And you guys, my pages are all from junk mail because I figure might as well just go the full throttle with my, with my recycling and I did not bring my man gun up, so we're going to have to wait for it to dry. But it, I don't really need it to totally dry to, um, to sew my pages in. And it might be dry enough to sew my pages in just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess. 
And Liz, I have different big scissors. These are like kitchen shears. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys haven't been around, I like to fussy cut with big scissors. Don't ask me why. It's ridiculous. And Liz makes fun of me. In good fun. In all in good fun. Okay. And I should have brought my man gun up here, but I didn't. I did not bring my man gun up. So we're just going to have to go with it without the man gun. And I'm thinking I might take these and tuck them inside. I may not glue them down tonight, but I may... Well, I say that, but maybe I glued down the wrong end. Guys, this is how my life is rolling. No, I didn't glue down the wrong end. Yay. Hey, with me, you guys never know. With me, you never, ever know. So I'm going to see if I can just trim this. Did you guys see Barbara Walters passed away? I was like so sad. Barbara Walters and Vivian Westwood. And so I was like, Wow. Barbara Walters was such an icon for all women, especially women in news, right? And paved the way for many people to have amazing careers in the news industry. I need a glue stick. Oh, let me see, guys. Hey, Jen, how are you? Hey, Renee, how are you? Did your daughter have her baby yet? Barbara Wawa, I know, right? Did your daughter have her, did your daughter have her, it, isn't she having a little girl or am I wrong? Guys, sometimes I think things and they aren't, it's through a different, I don't know. Anyway. I know you guys can't imagine that it's going to look good, but it will in the end. No, still waiting on baby number two. You got your peach tea. I have my, um, you guys, I have some seltzer and I have a tiny glass of red wine that I was going to enjoy, but I haven't really set, haven't gotten to enjoy it yet. Guys, I made the best. So on, on a car, somebody asked earlier, what do you eat on a carnivore diet? Meat, <laughs> just really meat. But at mine, I'm doing meat and some dairy. I eat meat, fish, all that stuff and some dairy. Just no, no vegetables, no, really no green or anything. And you know me, I love my, I love my greens, but guys, I did it because I was not feeling well. And this friend of mine suggested that I do this carnivore diet. And I was kind of like, eh. and they said, well, you've tried everything else, which is true. It's completely and utterly true. I have been vegan. I have eaten raw. I have been macrobiotic. I, I've done just about everything. Okay. Aside from being a breatharian, that's the only thing I haven't tried. I have tried everything and I have, have had very bad um, flare ups with sort of, arthritis type stuff. And I was not, I hadn't been feeling well. And so I have to tell you, honestly, I'm actually feeling amazing. So, all right. So I'm going to let it dry and I know I may paint on top of it or do something else so that we don't see the whatever, but for right now it's the beginning. So I can put my, um, I can put my, um, I'm trying to make a journal out of cheap envelopes. So the twist now I'm, yes, I'm going to make, this is for the scavenger hunt book for Jana Young's scavenger hunt book. And I just thought, you know, I've been saving these envelopes. I also could make one out of this reader's digest too, but for tonight, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do that. So now I'm just going to work on my pages. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to gather some pages. So, um, I have, I thought I had, maybe, maybe I only had it in my head. I have some security envelopes, which I love. And I even have some red ones. You guys know how much we love our red security envelopes. I have some paper. I have some, some packaging. And I have a paper bag. I have a map. 
There's some coffee filters. Um, this envelope. Because I run like a like a little emporium, and all of our stuff has weird packaging, so I try to save it. I try to like gather the packaging and save some. I don't save all of it, you guys. I do try to save some. So let me just let me get one going first. Let me find one template of a page, and then because I need it to match up here. So let's see. Are they similar? So I've saved like an envelope from that somebody mailed as a catalog. I've saved, I've saved all kinds of stuff, you guys. Okay, so this will be my template for all my stuff to fit in. And this is going to be my scavenger hunt book. Hi, Jen's husband. How are you? How are you? This is kind of a cool envelope. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it open. So, guys, I do not want to repeat this year. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like over 2022. I am not repeating it. I had, this week was so horrible. The grief stricken me from the loss of my friend this week, I was like, some days were just, ugh. So I was just like, okay, I am so ready for 2020, 2022 to be gone. I'm ready. I'm ready. So Janet did a hundred prompts. Am I right, Janet? Speak up. I think it's a hundred prompts. So, you know, you can do a December daily and you can do like eight pages in a December daily and that'll be, or eight pages in a journal and that'll be the equivalent of uh, that'll be the equivalent of 30 days. But I was thinking that, you know, I might want to do my scavenger hunt. Like this is one page, you know what I mean? So then I'll need 50 of those layouts, which would be, I don't know. I was thinking about, I guess that's 25 pages full, but I'm, I think I might do just some extra ones. I might do more than one signature on this little, on this little scavenger hunt book. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. We'll see. We'll see how it rolls with my, what, with the papers and weird things that I brought from work. Guys, I have, we get so many cool like packaging and different things. And I have not, I haven't saved, I've saved a lot of it, not all of it, but I've definitely saved some of it. And, and I'm excited to use it. You could also make a junk journal or an art journal this way too. You don't have to, um, you don't have to go and buy anything. If you're like me, you can save it from like everywhere, like paper bags, like it's a paper bag. And then all these security envelopes, which I like them for the, the colors of the pages. I don't know about you, but I'm going to glue over them. So I guess it really doesn't, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to glue over them. So how many of you guys have made a junk journal before? Junk journaling, I have to tell you, junk journaling is so fun because it's like, there's no rules in it, so you don't have to have. It could be it could be any old way you want it, right? Oh, thanks, Janet. I really appreciate those thumbs up. I really do. How many people are in the chat? One hundred and five people are in the room. If we get to a hundred thumbs up, I will do a giveaway. And for those of you that are new to my channel. I appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, if you like to do weird eclectic things like me. And hopefully in the new year, I'll be on a more regular schedule. I used to stream every Tuesday and Friday and sometimes Sunday, but I haven't in a while. So hopefully coming the new year, I will. 
hopefully I will be back to streaming regularly. And I have some, hopefully, some exciting news to share with you guys really super soon. Some super exciting news. Exciting for me. Um, I appreciate it. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it in there like this. That's probably better. And then I can... I can... Guys, I went to look for my awl. How many of you guys, you know, an awl is a thing that you punch holes in so that you can do your, you can bind your books. I cannot find it. I couldn't. And I have a box of like journaling supplies that I've just like random, eclectic journaling supplies that I love. Because I can't even find my box. It's like this, this January is going to be for me to get my behind once and for all organized in my new craft space, which I haven't done. Guys, I moved into this house last January and then immediately I thought, oh great, I'm going to have all this free time to do all this stuff. You guys, I haven't. It has been work, work, and work, and work, and more work. And work, and work, and work. It has been just a lot of work and, and I'm not, I'm grateful to have a job and I'm grateful, but I have not put any, put very little energy into my art space, which is not good. And then I had, I had lots of company and which I loved, but then I moved all my stuff around because what my art space was became like the guest bedroom. It was like a whole thing. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Happy New Year to everybody. So are you guys into New Year's resolutions? I'm not. I never keep them. But, <laughs> but you know, it might be a good year to make one because Lord knows I need to, right? Lord knows I need to um, have some, make some resolutions, i.e. get my crafting space pick one of the rooms in my house to make the crafting space and do it and do it for good. Hey, Mary, how are you? I watched your stream this morning, Mary. If you guys haven't subscribed to Mary Del Abrams channel, go on over and do it. She is so talented, probably one of the most talented um, artists I know. And she's fantastically fabulous, and it would be su it's super fun to. And she does really early morning streams, which for me in Hawaii used to be really late at night, which I appreciated because I could go to bed and crawl in my bed and sit down and watch a little Mary before I went to sleep. But she does super early morning streams, which are fun. She does all kinds of different types of journaling. Art journaling and painting. She's an amazing painter. Okay, let's see how many pages I have. And I may have to, may have to take some out and add some more. You're enjoying the streamathon. You were fantastic this morning, Mary. And thank you, Lori, Miss Lori Paint Girly. She's have you guys seen her Christmas ornaments? She's so talented. I should have, you know what, Lori, I should have put in an order and gotten one for you from, from you for my Christmas tree this year. And I didn't. I will do it for next year for sure. Okay, let's see how many pages I have. Okay. At 22 pages. So how many how many spreads will that give me? 22 times four, right? Let me see. Let me look at my 
The cover's not really dry, but let's just see. Let's decide which is the front and which is the back. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'll glue something over it eventually. Let's see. So I need, how many do I need total? I need at least, I need at least 25, right? So I have 22. But if I wanted to do them like a double spread layout, if I wanted to do it like two pages, I guess I'll only do one page. So I need at least three more pages. Let me use some more of this brown paper. You guys, I, I feel lucky. I love brown paper. And I am the queen of brown paper now at my job because all of it comes in the whatever we get, like the packaging stuff. The, the this one's too thin. You know, the packing the packing material. And you know, I have really learned not all packing material is the same. I mean, not that I really thought about it before, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely really learning about it now. You're going up to the balcony. Thanks for stopping by, Mary. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, we need 30 more thumbs up, and then I will do a giveaway. And the giveaway will be, I'll, it's going to be, and it can be open to, if it, if you win and you live in Canada or the UK, you'll get an abbreviated version because postage is crazy. But if, it, if you live in the US, it will be a flat rate envelope filled with all kinds of junk journaling supplies. You guys, I got a lot. I've got some crazy foreign language book pages and I've got all kinds of all kinds of craziness that I that I um, collect. Okay, I need three more pages and then I'm gonna sew it in. Hey happy. What Rachel, you went to the wait. Yep, I'll do a giveaway. I'll do a couple of giveaways. I'll send some, I got some really cool, guys, one of the pros of moving back to the mainland is I have actually gotten some really cool stuff at some of the stores here. And I'll show you, what did I get that I'm just, I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited to do it. I got some silver leaf and copper leaf, and I'm excited to use that. I've gotten some, all kinds of like cool pens and um, I don't know, like stuff that I, you know, you guys know that I lived in Hawaii or that's where I moved from and we don't have craft stores there like you do here. So I have definitely done a little bit of retail therapy, red at least to start. <laughs> I, I need to start with red. Um, So I have done some retail therapy. How many of you guys have been into the Dollar General Pop? It's called, what's it called? Pop Shelf. Have, have you guys been into that? My girlfriend, my, my for one of my friends here, she turned me on to it. It's a little bit of a detriment, you guys. It's a little dangerous. Um, okay, I think I need two more pages. You guys are read 86, 14 more. You don't have a pop here? Oh my gosh, APG. Ooh, it's so good. I was reading today, one of my girlfriends sent me a paper today that said they're gonna build a hundred, no, a thousand. They're, they're going to, it's like the Dollar General, it's supposedly like higher end Dollar General. I have to tell you, I got some of the coolest little things. I got some paper clips in the shape of dogs. I put them in some of my kids' Christmas stuff. Um, I got some paints. Oh, my gosh. I got a, it, not for myself, but I got it as a gift for somebody. I got some watercolor paints, and they were like a like a travel kit, and they were so amazing. And I want to say they were like 3 or $4. Uh, 
right. So I have 26 pages. Maybe I'm going to do it. I might be doing, I might do it in two signatures. I wonder if it's dry. Guys, I don't even have an awl. So I'm going to have to use a needle. I could not find, I don't know what I have done with my stuff. You guys, I am like, yep. I'm definitely like not on my game as far as. Maybe I'll take out, if I have 20, I'll take out 12. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. Just add ten. Let me find one. Let's grab a ten. Eleven, twelve. Okay. This will be my first signature. I'll try to do two signatures. It'll be easier. Um, yeah, I I have uh, definitely enjoyed my my new retail. Not that I've gotten to go too many times, but during the during Christmas I did. I went shopping a few times, and uh, they've got some great. There's like some really cool stuff going on out there. But you missed, that's what I guess that's what, all what I missed when I was in Hawaii. I guess I missed, I missed most of that when I was in Hawaii. Okay, so it's going to be two, two signatures. And it might be, and it might stick out like this. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to, I could, I can't believe I lost my, I have more alls than anybody ever needs, but I managed to lose them. So there you go. So I'm just going to do it with a needle. It'll be fine. It will not matter. This is just a junk journal. It will not matter. I'm like, what in the world? I'll look in one more place. No, but you know what I have? I have a seam ripper. That might work better than a needle. We will see. See, use what you have. Use what you have. Seam ripper. This is my new all. The seam ripper. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do two signatures. We're going to do the thinner one first. And. Yep. Shopping has been a different experience now that I don't live in Hawaii. I love you guys, there's just not in Hawaii. You don't need as much. So there's not as many now on the bay, on the on on the island of Oahu. There is more shopping than there was on my island. So I can only speak for my island. And there was not a lot of shopping. Okay, I think I'm only going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. If I had my all, I'd do a five-hole. But not only do I not have my all, I can get over here with any paper clips. So you guys, this is like going to be winging it winging it winging it winging it winging it i don't even have one clip like how can i not even get over here with a clip this is not not i didn't get over here with a clip i didn't get over here with a clothespin oh no i do have a clip yay they're not meant for that they're meant for yay hey i got a clip i'm excited i got a clip you guys they're power clips meant for chips. <laughs> no, they said they're all purpose clips. It's food, small toys, and craft supplies. Okay, so then I'm in. I got, I got, I got a clip. I got some clips. <laughs> I'm missing what you guys are saying. Okay, two more, and we'll do a giveaway. Two more, and we will do it. Two more thumbs up, and we will do a giveaway for a small flat rate envelope full of full of all kinds of junk journaling fodder. Your what? Your sure fireworks are here in the USA is a lamp on the rest and a small find. Well in Hawaii the fireworks are crazy. You guys if we were there now you couldn't even see it would be like the smoke would be so intense from the fireworks. You couldn't even see. And our poor animals would be totally traumatized. New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve and Fourth of July are the in Hawaii are the big 
um, or the big fireworks thing. I don't hear any here. So there you go. I don't know. Maybe they're maybe they don't do it here. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I do not know, but maybe they don't do it here. I don't. That is a good. That's a good question. All right, you guys. <laughs> don't. You guys can measure yours. I'm not. Mine's just going to be winging it, okay? Because I can't find an all, so I'm using a. I'm using a. I'm using my seam ripper because that's what I have. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so I got my needle through that one. All right, let's go in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It's going to be my scavenger hunt book. It does not have to be perfect. So I'm not going to get myself all upset if it's not perfect. It will be perfect in the end, right? Because I will have, I will have made it that way. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna take my okay. And I'm using wax linen thread because that's just what I have. I'm not saying that you need to use that. Okay, you can use anything you have. Let me see. Did that one there? I'm going to do it. this one up a little higher. And I'm hoping I'm catching all the pages because I didn't really look at it that close to see if I was. But I'm hoping I am. Hope, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. Hoping I'm catching all the pages. I can hear some faint fireworks, but really faint. Hawaii is crazy for fireworks, so you guys, you can buy fireworks everywhere. There, you can buy them in the grocery store. Whereas I don't know, I think you have to buy them at a fireworks stand here. Although saying that, I haven't seen it. You guys, where do you buy fireworks here? Do you know, Malia? Do you know where you buy fireworks here? Malia might because she's lived in North Carolina longer than me. Okay, that is one signature. And you guys, you don't have to do it haphazard like I am. But this is going to be my glue book, my scavenger hunt glue book, so it's fine. We did 102. Okay, let's do a giveaway. Um, Jamie, are you here? Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Miss Beth Schuler, how are you? Jamie, are you here? Jamie, okay, cool. So Jamie, um, Jamie, I love you more, is going to put in the chat, go, and when she does, pick a number between 100 and 150. So wait till Jamie, and she'll put a, she'll put a heart, what are you going to put, a purple heart or something right before the go? Yeah, okay, there you go. Put between one and 150, put pick a number, and we will do a giveaway. We will do a giveaway between one and 150. Okay, now let me just sew in my second signature. Let's see. Just show them my second signature. Ooh, hi, Miss Leslie Casey. How are you? Uh, I'll put in some of my. What did you call my napkins? Those. What did you call them, APG? Those ridiculous napkins. The ones that they don't give you the right. They didn't give me all the things. I. They didn't give me the. Hey, Violet. Now, it'll have to be the closest one without going over, okay? Okay, has everybody put in their numbers? And only put in one number, okay? 
I mean, unless somebody else picked your number, then that, then you can put in another number. If you see that, go back and take out the one you did. Hey, Kate, how are you, sweet girl? Can I tell you, I love seeing your pictures of your girls. Your girls have grown so much, and I just adore seeing pictures of them. I can't believe they've gotten so big so fast. Okay, and... Jamie, have we been going for at least a minute? Has there a last call for all the numbers? Last call for all the numbers. Hey, Amazon Tammy. Hey, Miss Janet. Hey, Miss Sharon. Hey, Jasper. Barbara. All my friends. Make sure you guys are on live chat, okay? And not on... Um, and not on top chat. Okay, Jamie, put the stop. Well, Jasper, we'll accept your number because you had somebody else's. Okay, let me find my phone. Let me, let me just find my phone. Sorry, guys. Let me thread my needle and find my phone. Then I can sew my second signature. Okay, let's see. All right, let me get in here. You get to a random number picker. Random number random number generator okay between one and 150 okay so you see it it's between one and 150 you're watching the fireworks from your lanai oh martha that's so awesome okay generate the number is 53 who has 53 without going over 53 without going over the closest to 53 can somebody tell me who has 53 without going over? Okay, let's see. And while you guys tell me who that is, and you guys make sure that you, somebody, will you put the Crafting Mama's info, the Gmail account in there in the chat for one of, if anybody has it, if not, I'll do it later. And um, I will... Send you your, if you live in the UK or you live in Canada, I will send you something else. I won't send you a flat rate envelope, but I'll send you some really cool stuff. And if you live in the US, it'll be a flat rate envelope, flat rate, small envelope, the, you know, the, the flat rate, regular envelope. Make sure you guys are on live chat. Oh, Angie, I'm so sorry. Big hugs and lots of love. Okay, who had number? Who was the closest? Kathy Whitney. Yay, Kathy, congratulations. Well, send me, if you're my friend on Facebook, you can send me um, a, in, a message on Facebook. If not, send it to craftingmamasinfo at gmail. Kathy Whitney, awesome. Okay, so we have 123 people watching. If we can get to 123, but that, that means 21 more people. With a thumbs up, um, I'll do another giveaway. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, send me your address, Kathy. I'll try to get it. Give me a week, though, to get it mailed out. Because <laughs> you guys, yep. My, my life with this whole mailing and everything else, it's, it's fun. But, okay, I think. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm just trying to decide whether I'm going to do it in, the, in front of this one. Or if I'm going to do it in back of it, let's decide if I'm going to do it in the front or in the back. I think I might do it in the, well, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Now, if you guys are making along, you will have your scavenger hunt book. Yes, APG is right. If you want to give away, please email the giver your mailing address. Also, you know, email me your real name and all that stuff so I can get it right. Elvis is in the house. Okay, Mary would like Angie's attention. Angie, Angie, Angie. Mary is talking to you. Hey, Pandora. Do I, but, you know, I do miss Hawaii. I'm not going to lie. This winter kind of kicked my butt. And I miss my friends. I'm not going to lie. I miss, I have some really, I have a handful of really good friends that I really, truly miss. Okay. I'm not going to, that has been hard, but I've made some good friends since I moved here. 
and I'm grateful for that. And, but I do miss, yes, I miss it. I'm not going to lie. I miss it. I didn't think I would, but I do. I really do. Okay. So for those of you who've never made a junk journal, you're getting it. You're getting an eyeful of a junk journal and I did not even sew it. I didn't sew it even, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to, we're not going to obsess over it. We're going to, we're going to keep going. We are going to keep going. All right. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the center, the center hole first, maybe. The center hole will be the first hole that I do on this one. I say that, but we'll see. Yep, I miss my friends. I miss, I do miss the weather. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I miss the weather. This year, the weather has been so cold for me. Guys, that's what I get. The joke is on me. The joke is has been on me. The weather joke has been on me. Okay, I cannot. The weather joke has totally been on me. Okay, let me see if I can find. I can't even see the poke hole, the whole poke. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, yay. I was having a moment there. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm putting it in, but I can't see the, the pokey hole there. So... This year, Christmas was super hard for me because my kids, they all came for my youngest daughter turned 16 and her one wish for her birthday was that she had all of her sisters here. So they all came and her birthday was in August. So she came, they all came then. So I didn't see any of them and she was at her dad's. Or she's at her dad's right now, Christmas. And I have to say, I have, it's been kind of a funky Christmas for me that, and as far as that goes. So my middle daughter who lives in Arkansas and I both had a conversation that we would not do that again, that we would, we would all, we would definitely be together for Christmas next year, no matter what, because it was, it was weird. You know, this was my First Christmas without one of them, you know, so, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm definitely not, <laughs> I'm not to, I'm not going to do that one again. That one was not, that was not a, that was not a, a good Christmas as far as like, you know, being with your family and stuff. I mean, I had, I was fine and I had to work. You guys have had to work so many Christmases. It's not even. That's not even the issue anymore. The, the working part isn't the issue. Okay, I would suggest if you guys want this to come out perfect or more perfect than me that you measure it. But for me, this will be just fine for my glue book. Just fine for my glue book. Just fine. And I might do something on the spine anyway, so... It'll be just as good. Yeah, I like the pandemic Christmas, no fun. Well, you know, the only good thing for me during the pandemic is that my kids were not all of them, but two of them were in, in there. Beth, I run a I run a an emporium. It's like half of it is like an artisan store, which I used to have my own art gallery when I lived in New York. I used to have my own like little artisan gallery where I had like I don't know. I had a lot of artists and, you know, that made jewelry and sculpted and did paintings and pottery and that sort of thing. So half of it is like that. And the other half is like a, is like a, like a souvenir kind of shop, you know, like where you could buy like a t-shirt or you could buy a, um, where you could buy something that's, you guys don't, I, I moved to Asheville, North Carolina from Hawaii. So, um, so that's where I work and, and, you know, it's hard any, you know, I'm, I'm used to working on the holidays because, you know, like when we lived in Hawaii, a lot of people come, you know, a lot of people travel to Hawaii during the holidays, Christmas and new, the, the week, the two, the week between Christmas and new year's could make or break a business in Hawaii. 
And so, I mean, it's not that I'm unused to working that holiday. It was just this particular year. I really missed my kids and this year has been rough for me, you know, losing my friend and I'm not going to lie. I, this year has been tougher for me than I will say any year I've had in a while. And I've had some, some doozies like years where I've lost my parents and different stuff like that. But this year, maybe it's my age. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. We need 12 more thumbs up and I will do another giveaway. All right, let's see how this works out. My spine's a little wonky, but it's okay. It'll all, you guys, the one thing about making a book like this, when you're gonna like glue a bunch of stuff in it, it is gonna get, and it's already kind of big. It is gonna get really big. It is going to get, it's gonna definitely have a, an alligator mouth. And I may go, I'm gonna wait till it totally dries, but I may collage more stuff on top. But look, if I can make my glue book in no time out of trash, you guys can make your glue book in no time. And you don't, I mean, you could do it in a regular book too. Uh, I still have plenty of time, so I could probably do my Reader's Digest one. Hey, Elvis, how are you? Okay, we need, come on, it was 100, so we need 10 more. I know 127 are watching, but I said 123, so we need 10 more thumbs up, and then we can do the second giveaway. You went to sleep and did not succeed at all. I'm sorry. Hey, Miss Dana, Happy New Year. Thank you for coming to say hey to me. So will somebody put Janet's scavenger hunt list in the chat again? So anybody that wants to join the scavenger hunt tonight, Janet will be on in a little bit. Well, see, you guys, I didn't pay attention. Look, I sewed in some of my signatures upside down, but you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it because it'll be fine. Um, so this one is done. And I have enough time to do another one. I can have enough time to put my pages in. This one's going to be really fun to work in, but it's going to get an alligator mouth. And I guess I should decide which is the front and the back since I sewed some of the, this one has a pocket going this way. This one has a pocket going this way. This one does. So this one has the one that has the pockets going the other way. That's okay. You know what? I'll just make them an upside down tuck spot. So. Good morning, Miriam. Happy New Year. Hi, Penny. I love my cover, my, my paper napkin cover, my paper napkin over the, the envelope. You know, I really like these envelopes. I have a bag of them. I saved it. I didn't, I don't keep all of them from work, but half of them. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Tanya. Happy New Year, Joyce. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. So let me see if I can put together some more pages for this one. So this is the one, this is like a reader's digest, just book cover. Let me see. Let me see how many, this one probably could take more pages than this one did. Let's see what I have. I should definitely have some stuff to put in it for sure. Let's decide. Guys, I like all these scientific source books, these electronic circuit books. I don't know why, but I do. It's like if I find one at a garage sale, I feel like I've like, or at a yard sale or even at a, you know, we have those friends of the library bookstores here. We have that. I had, I think the one in I had in Maui was better, but the friends of the library is not bad here. And uh, yeah. So. It's, uh, whenever I find one of these electronic books, I just totally go for it. I love it. I can't help it. Guys, we all have our, we all have our thing, right? <laughs> we all have our, we all have our. So this man came in today into the store and we have these amazing wallets and he, he, he walks over and you, you would have thought he was like buying contraband and it wasn't even like expensive. It was like $25, I think for this wallet. And he goes, 
He goes, here, here, I'm paying cash. Don't let my wife see me. <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, I'm paying cash. Don't let my, don't let my wife see me. And I was like, the store is packed. I didn't even know who his wife was, okay? And he's like, yeah, she's going to really get upset if I buy another wallet. And I said, well, we all have stuff like that. I said, so what is it that she has? And he goes, shoes, shoes. She buys shoes. And then he goes on to tell me about all the shoes his wife buys and all the stuff. And I was like, well, I said, I'm sure she won't be upset if you buy a wallet. And then, it, and I said, you know what? She doesn't know won't hurt her. I said, I'm sure she's bought a few pair of shoes without your knowledge. And he's like, yes, I know she has, but she'll never admit it. it you guys, you would have laughed until you cried. Then like maybe 15 minutes later, she goes, she walks over to buy something. And then she goes, I heard all that. And we both started laughing. I said, well, I said, how many pairs of shoes did you buy without him knowing? She said, hundreds of pairs. <laughs> Your library has free books and you're going to go read when it comes Tuesday. Ah, oh, for you, Tori. You're starting to hear bangs from your fireworks. Okay, so I need at least 25 pages in this. Okay, so far I have four or five. Let me see. I know it must have more envelopes around here somewhere. So, yeah, so he was, a, so let me tell okay, so I told you guys last week about the mannequin that we left outside and how I had to carry him home under my arm and everybody made fun of me. You have a problem with purses, you're going to have to sell some, you just don't have room for the bags, I get it. Okay, so the scavenger hunt, okay, so Janet has been doing the scavenger, Janet Young has been, and you guys please put her channel in there too, she has been doing this scavenger hunt for a number of years and it's super fun. So it's like prompts and you would like fill a page or, um, let me see if I have it up somewhere. I know I do. So like, so it's, it's a scavenger hunt challenge. Okay. And so you use your imagination to complete the prompts. So like one of the prompts is label off a can. So if you, you find some label you want and you would just like glue it in your book, or maybe you might do a whole page of labels or maybe you might do multiple labels or maybe you might, you know, do a fold out or flip out of a label. And then another one is a napkin. So like my, this would count for one of the prompts for me, right? Cause I, I glued a napkin on top of the cover. So the idea is to just have fun and be creative and use the prompts. And there's a hundred prompts to create art or self-expression, whatever that is for you. Okay. So, you know, you could just get a composition book from the 99 cent store or whatever store you have near you to do it. And the idea is that you fill your book up, you follow the prompts that she gives you. She's and you'll get the list. Somebody will put the list in the chat. She's going to be live tonight from, is it from 10 30 to 12 30? She's live. When is she, or is 11 30 to 1 30? I don't know. She's live tonight. And if you look in the description box of down below, you'll see the next one, Anne's after me. And then after her is, um, is Janet. So the idea is just to play along and have fun. You know, it's not to, it's not like it's ultimately like super serious thing. It's just to have fun and, and be creative. And she's on from 1030 to 1230. Janet is. So and you can get the list of prompts there in the there there somebody will put the see it's it's in the it's in Janet's community tab and um, Janet VB put it in there already. And yes, and the best prompt I agree. So Rachel says the best prompt is there are no rules. Oh, you know what? I should have found one of my ones from lat that I've done before. I should have found one of, a couple of my scavenger hunt books that I've done before with Janet's scavenger hunt. Now, if you complete it by her date, she'll give you a date and rules on how you get to her that she's completed it. She does a giveaway. And so, um, you know, that's just kind of like a little end result. But in many ways, it is just fun. It's just an opportunity to have fun. So... Yeah, no jail time if you don't have all the prompts. You know, it's just a fun way. I agree. You know, it's just a fun way 
to ring in the new year. Hi, Mary Lou. And it's just a fun way. Just, you know, it's just like something really fun. Yes, Miss Ann is up next in 30 minutes. Well, actually in 27 minutes. Okay, we only have, I only need, we, I said it would be 121 because that's who we had at the time. We only need two more thumbs up and then we'll do another giveaway. And you guys get your drink of choice. I'm going to see. Definitely need some more paper. Need some more paper. Need paper. Because I have a lot of paper. I'm definitely, definitely have a lot of paper. I don't really need more paper, but I need more paper for this book. Oh, Mary, you're so sweet. We love you, our Mary Atia. You, you know, we all can thank Maridel Abrams because she carried on this tradition and did all of the work. And you guys, it is work when you're putting together a schedule of hoppers. It, it is work. And so thank you, Mary. Love you, girl. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so ready. I am ready for 2023 to come on tonight. I'm happy here celebrating with all of you. But I am so ready for this year to be done. I am ready, Freddy, ready, ready, ready. I'm ready with Janet Nash's dog, Freddy. I'm ready. And if you guys want to start hanging out with me, I'm hopefully going to be back on stream on Tuesdays, at least on Tuesdays, maybe not Fridays until I, until my job situation gets a little bit better. Because I'm on... I'm just not home in time. When people don't show up, I'm the one that has to show up, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to make, come in the new year, and I've, I've collected the supplies for it, but make a rag quilt if anybody wants to join in. And you can use, you can use anything. I made one for one of my kids who had a jeans, and it came out great, but jeans are very heavy and kind of difficult to sew. So if it was your first rag quilt, I would suggest you do it out of cotton, but you can use clothes. You don't have to, you know, you can go to the thrift store and buy some cotton shirts. Um, you don't have to have, um, you don't have to go buy fabric or look in your stash. And thank you, Mary. Love you, girl. Hi, Lucinda. You've been cleaning your room all day. Oh, thanks, Janet. Okay, we have, oh, we got 123 thumbs up. Okay, so Jamie, are you around? Miss Jamie, I love you more. Jamie is playing cards with her family tonight, guys. They're bringing in the new year in a family style. Okay, so Jamie's going to put in a go after three purple hearts. And let's do a number between one and 150 again. One and 150 again. Guys, I really like this envelope. I don't even know where it came from. How many of you guys started saving bad for envelopes? One and 150. And for those that live in the U.S., it will be a small, a, a small flat rate envelope filled with all kinds of junk journaling fodder. And if you live outside of the U.S., it'll be something else. I just don't know what yet, but it will be. I don't have an issue sending outside of the U.S. It's just, uh, you guys, postage. I don't know what I mailed the other day, but it was like, it was so expensive. I was so shocked. I was shocked at the price. I was shocked at the price of like what it costs to, to do that. And we're going to do the random number generator again. Let's go, we're gonna clear that one. And we're gonna wait for Jamie to say stop. You guys keep, everybody put your, and then Jamie give extra time cause it may be, um, it may take a little bit of, uh, there's a lag is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> My head can't even think. 
So what my plans are for the new year, um, I'm going to start the renovation. I told you guys about my bathroom reno, reno and I'm not doing that. Somebody else is doing that because they're adding a bathroom to my house, but I'll take you guys along. I'm going to redo my dining room first, I think. And that I have to redo the hardwood floors and I'll take you guys along on that if anybody's interested in my, my one woman show of, uh, <laughs> <coughs> okay, Jamie said, stop. Okay, we're going to have a number between 1 and 150, and it is 106. So who has 106, the closest, without going over? 106. Can somebody tell me who has 106, the closest number without going over? You guys, somebody put Anne's channel. Anne will be up in 21 minutes. Miss Anne Lair, who I love dearly, will be up and on soon. Anne, what are you going to work on tonight? What are you all going to work? What are you working on tonight, Miss Anne? Because I have to work tomorrow, too. Isn't that crazy? I have to work tomorrow, too. Beth at 9. nine oh, congratulations, Miss Beth Schuler. Make sure you send me. Thanks, Janice. Thank Janet. Thanks, Tina. Make sure you send me your address, Beth. If you don't, I'll, I'm sure I can find it. Yep. And I will send you a flat rate envelope filled with junk journaling fodder. I'll put you guys will have like foreign language book pages, whatever I have, wall book, wallpaper book pages. You know me, I have like, I'm the queen of all the weirdest possible, possible things. The queen of all the weirdest possible things, but it'd be great if you did send me your address though. You know, sometimes I know, I know people have think that I have it because they bought stuff for me in my past live sales and stuff. You guys, it's just always much easier if you resend it than expecting me. Cause sometimes I clear out my email. So sometimes I don't, um, I don't have it all in there. Hi, Diane. How are you? Art Curious, what's your first name? How are you feeling, Miss Tammy? How are you feeling? So this one is going to be a more of a junk journal, junk journal. I was just trying to see because I know that I have paper that I have I have some Amy paper and I also have some painting pa papers that I've painted. Barbara is asking you aren't curious. Your name is Barbara too. Oh, nice. Or Barbara. Let's see. She, Barbara, she says she can see you. I don't know what question you ask her, but. So what have you guys arted along with today? Everybody did such a, I enjoyed, I couldn't really comment much because I was at work, but I had it on, I had my laptop next to me and uh, <laughs> I was watching. Uh, you're feeling well about the same, oh, your leg, oh, girl, you have a, oh, yike. Oh, Tammy, prayers, 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 girl. Anne's making mixed media, mix of reading, finishing up December daily and showing some completed past journals. Awesome. You guys, I will show you guys my December daily. I did finish it and it should have brought it up here with me and I did not. I was planning on making, doing some videos with it, but girls, I'm telling you, I hope next year is kinder to me as far as my time goes. I hope it is much kinder to me as far as my time goes. Let's see how many pages I have in this. Okay, there's 18. I probably could do two signatures in this of that, or maybe even three. 
Maybe I'll have to get together 18 more pages. Let me see what you guys are saying. Um, Malia had a multitask. Uh, your your comment bounced three times. Uh, you know, I think YouTube has a mind of its own. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know. Lisa says she's cutting out old pictures and words for a couple of children's books. I'm nice. Miriam. I like the name Miriam. Oh, Tammy, we all are praying for you, girl. We want things to go well for you. I saw your mini scuffs page. It's mini scuffs page. You guys have to go over to APG. APG, what day do you do your mini scuff, your scuffs? She does. She's so creative and you guys would totally love it. I used to be able to go and watch it, but I wasn't even sure if I was going to even get to watch today because you guys, some days, some days at my job are easy and some days are just like they, they just get away from me. There's just so many people in and or I have a couple people that'll call out. So I don't have any, won't have any real help, you know, and we can be, I can have as many as a hundred people in my store at one time. And I'm telling you girls, <laughs> some days it's like, what? You're like, where did all these people come from? Where do they come from? What are they doing? Where are they come from and what are they doing? Hang on one second. Okay, you sent me to my Christmas card messenger account. Okay, thanks, Beth. Hey, Miss Liz. Okay, you've been cleaning out your stuff in your house and dumping it in your studio. Hey, Lisa, come to my house, okay? My house, you guys, I need a wife. I've decided I really need a wife. You made a magazine book to store all your papers. Martha, I've done that. I probably have a dozen magazine books. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Miss Beth. And you guys, you guys are getting New Year's cards, okay? I mailed out some of them. I have not finished mailing them out. Uh, we don't want to talk about my week. You're working on cleaning and then messing at the same time, Penny. Oh, yes, that's me. <laughs> you do it too. Uh. <laughs> okay, husband might work as well. Hey, Bootsy, I, I need a wife. Okay, I seriously need a wife. I need a wife. <laughs> I need one, you guys. I was a, yeah. I need one. Anybody want to set me up? Let me know, okay? <laughs> no such thing as cleaning. Only exciting. What? Yeah, I would. I would love to live close to you, Roy. Oh, Rachel, that's so sweet. Rachel sends a blessing. Dear God, thank you for the gatherings, the fibs. The blessings to come. Let me read it all. You'll be my wife. Come on, Malia. We'd have a great life. I'm telling you. I don't mind working and making money. I just can't. I can't keep up with everything. Okay. Bless the coming year for all. You know the names, the gifts, and you best know all the needs. Amen. Oh, perfect. Rachel, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Ayala. How are you? Happy New Year, girl. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend having a wife. Oh, my God. Kate, you're ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. My sister even told me I needed a wife, okay? She's like, you need a wife. I was like, you are right. I just seriously need a wife. Guys, I'm like, I don't know. Speaking from experience. <laughs> uh. 
You think I need a maid, not a wife? I don't know. A maid might fire me. <laughs> Cleaning is a two four letter two four letter word side by side, and it's not good. <laughs> I love that, Beth. <laughs> Aw, thanks, APG. <laughs> you need a paw? Yeah, go and you can look at Janet Young's community tab and find her scavenger hunt list. No cleaning, only editing. <laughs> you have a great wife. But on the other hand, I'm a horrible wife. <laughs> Well, Becca, you know, hey, I'm a good gift giver. I'm a good cook. I'm a good worker. Um, I don't know. You guys, I'm just, you know what I think it is? I think all my kids are grown, except for one. I have one at home. I think I'm just kind of over it all. You know what I mean? I don't know. When all your kids are grown, you're just kind of like, okay, I'm done. You're very low maintenance and you only get bitchy like half the time. <laughs> uh, the good, the bad, and who's the ugly? Oh, I love that. Oh my God. He's singing to the choir, Barb. Singing to the choir. Oh my Lord. <laughs> the house is bad. Oh my God. You guys. And then unpack when we got here and there's no closets. I love you house. I love you house. I love you house, but there's no closets. So yeah, I have to, you guys, my sister's coming soon and I'm just like, Oh, we are who we are. And that's that. I agree with you, Dana. Make it into a bumper sticker, Malia. <laughs> your husband and your son are taking over your wifely duties. You need 10 maids when you get better. I understand. Oh my God. <laughs> Kim says, most say their house is, there appears to have been a struggle in mine. It's post-war after a bombing girl. Yes, I get it. Oh my God. <laughs> you're, you're heavy your honey's doing food prep and you'd be in, in a small kitchen and you'd be in his way oh my gosh oh my goodness well i'll keep so i'll keep working on this book i know i have more paper guys there's so much paper too little time <laughs> exactly jasper yeah Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, so my dude, one of my friends here, she's so hilarious. So she, we talk to each other every day. She goes, so what did you cook? And you guys, I cook when my daughter's home, I cook every day. If it's just me, I try to cook and I cook like once every couple days and I'll eat leftovers. Oh my God, I made this crab bit. I'll try to make it. I'll try to video it next time I make it. It's probably the best I've had because I'm on this carnivore diet. I put it over my steak. I made, I made myself a pan fried ribeye, which I usually do it on the grill, but I have to tell you the pan frying thing, it was so good. And I put this crab dip over it. It was so good. This crab dip, you make it with cream cheese, cheese, a little mayonnaise, um, trying to remember, no, it wasn't any eggs in it. Crab, salt, pepper, green onions. I didn't have any green onions. So I just chopped a Spanish onion in there. And what else does I have in there? I put a little Parmesan, a little cheddar, like medium cheddar, white cheddar, cream cheese, crab, mayonnaise, There's some other stuff in it. What else was in it? I don't know. Then you bake it. Oh my God, you guys, it was almost like have you guys ever eaten like when gone to a restaurant and they'll have like something with crab on top, crab and the thing? It was like that. So I made this. <laughs> so I made myself two. I made two steaks a couple days ago and I sliced it super thin. So I've been eating that for a few days with a crab over it. 
it has to be like the best thing I've had in a very long time. I'm just like, yes, I can deal. I can have that. What did APG say? <laughs> For you, and let somebody else do it. Oh my goodness, girls. Oh, Janet. Yeah, it has been a fun day. And thank you guys for everybody who's modded and who's been here. Okay. We have 126 people watching and we have 125 thumbs up. One more thumbs up and I will do another giveaway. And my time is almost up. So you only have seven more minutes. You're hungry. All you ate today was a piece of ham folded in half. <laughs> Jasper, come on over to my house. You have some steak and crab. <laughs> That's what I have. One more thumbs up, you guys. One more thumbs up. Awesome. We hit, we did it. Okay. So how let's do Jamie. You'll be my wife if I move closer. <laughs> you say you can still have your mom. Girl, you don't. You better be careful what you wish for. You better be careful what you wish for. Okay. So Jamie will put in, wait for Jamie to put in the go. She'll put Jamie at Love You More. I'll put some through. Hey, Miss, Miss Renee. Um, Put in three, her three purple hearts. Wait for Jamie Levy more to put in the go. And then it'll be pick a number between one and 150. You've given up your previously ha household designated duties. Okay. Any between one and 150. Hey, Deb. And it'll be for a flat rate envelope filled with my collage fodder or in all kinds of whatever randomness I put in there for making junk journals. And if you live in the UK or you live in Canada, it'll be something, it'll be something similar, but not, not a flat rate envelope full. So I only successfully got one book made, but that's okay. This will be my Janet M. Young, my Janet M. Young scavenger hunt book. It'll be fun doing, it'll be fun working in it. And I'm excited about that. The other one I haven't finished. So I have just a couple more minutes and then you guys can all head over to Miss Ann Lair's channel. And thank you guys for showing me so much love. I appreciate it more than you know. Your state away. Well, I'm going to come and visit you guys as soon as I have a little bit more time off. I'm definitely going to take a road trip and um, come and hang out with everybody. Okay, everybody get your get your numbers in between one. Make sure you're on live chat and get your numbers in between one and 150. It's the first year you're going to make. Oh, Tori, that's a Tori. Watch out, girl. Once you start, it's like, mm hmm. You'll love it. I've made more journals. I, I, I should give you guys a flip through of all my journals. OK, there is a stop. And let me do a number generator. And we'll do a number generator between one and 150. It is the number 18 with the closest without going over. Closest without going over. It is so addictive, Jasper. I agree 1 million percent. It is so addictive. I'm telling you, you'll be like me, saving all the trash from your job. <laughs> if you have that kind of job. Oh, I'll do a flip through some of my journals. You guys, I have so many journals. Okay, so who won? It was Barb. You won? Awesome. So do me a favor. Make sure you send me your address, please. Send it to me. If you guys don't send me your address, I have no way of getting you your stuff. Thank you. Thanks. APG. Yeah. APG put it in there. It's crafting mama's info at gmail.com. Okay. Lastly, before you guys all go and head over to Anne's, if you guys are a member of my Facebook group, and if you're not, you can join. Anybody can join. Um, we are doing a, we're celebrating Cassandra's mom's 99th birthday. Her name is Miss Olivia and she turns 99 January 13th. I'm also doing a big giveaway for that. If you feel inclined to send Cassandra's mom her 99th birthday card, you can go over to my Crafting Mamas Facebook group or email me at craftingmamasinfo at gmail.com for her address. Just send me a picture of the card that you made her. And I will enter you in. The giveaway will be January 21st. You can send the card anytime between now and January 21st. And um, it'll be a flat rate box, a medium flat rate box full of my junk journaling supplies and collage fodder. 
Oh, thanks, Lisa. So if you guys are interested in that, either email me a picture of the, of the card and I'll email you her address or send me or join the Facebook group and post it in there. And you can be entered into the giveaway and the giveaway will be January 21st. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Please put Miss Ann Lair's channel in there one more time, please. Um, APG says there's also a group for the New York e e the 2022 Streamathon projects. Both the video creators and the viewers are free to join and share. Ah, it's called hashtag NYE2022 Streamathon projects. Awesome. Oh, love you, Renee. Miss you, girl. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, Flo. I miss you guys more than you know. I'm trying to get my butt back together to getting it together. It hasn't been easy. Somebody, okay, good. Thanks, Janet. Janet put Ann's channel in. Oh, thank you, Janet. Oh, thanks, Rachel. I'm so glad you came. You guys head on over. Bye, Diane. You guys head on over to Ms. Ann Lair's channel. Thank you guys, everybody. Have a happy and prosperous and safe new year. I look forward to seeing you guys in 2023. Nice to see you too, Ayala. Bye, Elizabeth. Happy New Year. Love you guys. Happy New Year. Head on over. Who's driving the bus? Who's driving the bus? Head on over to Anne's. All right. Love you guys. Happy New Year. See you soon. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Until next time. Love you guys. Bye, Lori. See you, see you over at Ann's.